Okay, let's open this guy up. That's not gonna work. Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin channel. Today we're gonna take apart a Bitcoin machine, a Bitcoin miner, see what's inside. Those machines are used to mine Bitcoins and that's how you can get, that's how Bitcoins get introduced to the system. And basically you need those strong machines to make them. But uh, people have been asking me and I'm also curious what's actually inside of those what kind of components is needed to run a bitcoin machine and like what's the inside i try to as you can see i try to uh, i try to uh, cut it in half that's impossible it's pretty much a block of metal inside so we're gonna just take it apart and let's see what's inside okay let's check out the uh, ant miner see so first side it shows ant miner second side it shows Bitmain. So Bitmain is the manufacturer of this product. Um, it's basically like a network computer. As you can see here in the front, there is a network port. Every Bitcoin machine have that. There is a front and back fan, as you can see here. And there is the power. Those are um, video card, standard video card power cables that goes here. There's four of them for this one. I'm gonna use a drill to open this guy up because I don't want you guys to wait forever. Okay, let's do this. Sorry, if, sorry for the shaking. Okay, that's one side. Let's check out the other side. See if it opens now. Okay, whoa. All right, let's see what we have here. So, as you can see, there are two, three main components. Hashing board one, hashing board two, and the main board. This board is what uh, connects to the Ethernet, to the Ethernet port. And it has the um, all the components to control the ant miner right here. Okay, now let's see what else we can take apart because I really want to get this thing off. So I'm gonna disconnect power for the fan. First fan. Second fan. Off. Okay, there's four screws here. It looks like it never got opened before, so I'm the first one. Okay. Disconnecting the information cables from the hashing boards to the main board right now. And there are four screws that holds the the computer board, the main board. Okay, oh, okay, it's all out. So here it is, here's the hashing port, I see, let's see what else, I see a little speaker, there are, um, I can see here the indication lights, this is the reset button right here, and what's in the back, that's it. So here's the brackets it holds it on, so there's a whole bracket here, I guess that stays together, I'm not sure. I think I might need to take that off too to be able to dis disassemble the whole thing. So let me look for an Allen key for this because it has an Allen key and I'll be right back. So I found the correct Allen key, but um, it's kind of scary to do it because I see a lot of components right next to it. I don't want to damage the boards. So we're going to continue disassembling it from the other side. Let's see what else we can take apart here. come off now okay oh wow this is a lot of metal here it's like a lot of metal so I took off the fan and look what I see more screws so it holds it right here let's go ahead and take those screws out and I'm guessing the other side it's the same thing
Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's look at the other side now. Same thing. Okay. Let's take off the fan. Great. So let's take off the front plate also. Boom. Okay, so they're still connected by the middle thing here. I'm curious how I'm gonna do this without damaging anything. So because I don't want to damage anything, I'm going to do it by hand. So let's see. I'm going to be super careful. Yeah, you have to be careful doing this. I'm right next to a bunch of electronic stuff. I'm going to take everything out. All the screws, and now we have two separate boards. So let's take a look at this board. So basically, this is a big, big heat sink. Both sides. This is even a bigger one. Look at that. You need that much <clears throat> of a heat sink to get all the hot air out, because those things running at full force. There's a bunch of chips inside. I wish we could see them. Let's see if that's possible. Let's see if we can actually open those up and see if we can see what's inside. I will try one of them. It reminds me of a CPU. You know, the springs for the heatsink. It's the same thing. Let's see if this thing comes up. Oh, it does. Look at that. So yeah, there's some heat sink here. Compound. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16 chips right here. So that's each board. Wow, so that's how much chips is separated each one. See, that's one chip, that's another chip, and Here's the power here, fan connection, and that's one side, and the other side seems to have a bigger heatsink. So that's what's inside a Bitcoin miner. I'm gonna go ahead and put it all back together. It's gonna take me forever, don't worry, I'll just do it. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty easy to take those apart. I believe they're designed that way, so then in case you want to um, service it or in case you want to clean it up as you can see I put it back together it took me like 30 minutes or so um, yeah they're designed to basically if the fan goes out you buy a new fan you take it apart four screws right away it's very easy so it's a very smart design the CPU chips that we saw inside the machine inside each board they're actually called ASIC which stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. Every single chip is designed specifically to mine Bitcoin. It cannot do anything else. So in case this thing becomes obsolete, which is pretty much is right now, this is the Antminer S3. It's pretty old. Um, it takes a lot of power, doesn't mine a lot of Bitcoin. In case this becomes obsolete and this doesn't make any more Bitcoins, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a weight. It, that's what it's worth. It doesn't do anything else. Unlike CPU, CPU can do a lot of things. ASIC chips can only mine bitcoins. You cannot mine Ethereum or any other coin for that matter. Only bitcoins, so it's that specific. So that's the disadvantage of those machines. Eventually they will be worthless and there's nothing we can do with them. Like literally like there's nothing you can use this for. Maybe for like a weight or um, a door stopper perhaps. But nothing you can use this for after it becomes obsolete. Thank you so much for watching, by the way, and um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, it was really fun opening this and discovering that it's pretty simple inside. And uh, don't forget to leave a like and, uh, you know, comment if you have any questions. And uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And see you guys later. Bye-bye.